Greetings fellow humans, Bad Mark here with another transmission from Mech Tech Keyboards and today we're taking a look at a new Nufi keyboard. Well, not new per se, but new to me. I've been wanting to get it for a minute, have not had the chance. Um, actually, they when they release these new switches, the Wisteria, Daisy, and Ella, little profiles, they asked me if I wanted to take a look at them. I was like, yeah, but I don't have an air yet. And they were like, oh, we thought we already sent you one. I'm like, well, I'm like, all right, let's get one out to you. I was like, yay. So I've been wanting to take a look at, at the Air series. I'm, I'm a sucker for the Halo. Um, I've been using the 75 a lot. Although I have also been, well, I've been moving between the 65, 75, and 96. But um, it's just, they're truly well-built keyboards. And while different, they're not... You know shockingly different they offer some features and some they offer an extremely good experience out of the box and the mix of the plastic with the aluminum um, the inner halo the keycaps so many things about it just works so i was quite impressed i'm very happy with what i've seen um I don't have too many low profile keyboards. I've got uh, an Ayusu one. I've got a Keychron K3, I believe, K2 or K3 um, low profile, which I think it's currently still in my car. I usually just keep it in the car um, so that I got a keyboard if I need to, you know, start typing a long email on my phone or something like that. But um, so I don't have much experience. Oh yeah, one more the. Uh, XVX Warmer L75 that I was not impressed with at all. I mean, the Keychron is an optical, but it's it's a solid little kit. So they have sent out an Air 96. Looks like it's the white one, I believe. Let's see. Mm. Yeah, this one's uh, comes with the red switches, and it, oh, this is the space gray. Cool, very cool. So it comes with this the. Switch option red 2.0. So they also sent me out some uh, shine through ABS keycaps uh, so we can tr check those out. But what I'm really looking forward to are these switches. Now we've got two linear switches. First up is the Allo. This is a 38 degree or a 38 gram plus or minus 15 grams um, linear switch. Wow, it's pretty quiet. The uh, total travel is 3.2 max total. So, yeah, it's a, there's no ping to speak of. They're nice and smooth, and they have a almost like a tap on glass type of bottom out. Then we have the daisy switches. And these are 48 gram plus or minus 15, so a little heavier. Yep, you can feel it. No ping. A very similar bottom out. There's definitely no ping. So I'm curious if these are soldered. Now, obviously, these have different types of legs, so it's different. Um, to open these up. It's a different, uh, I don't believe you can use the regular switch opener on these. And we have the Wisteria switches. These are the tactiles. Um, now this is a very light tactile. It's a 55 gram plus or minus 15. And the bump is, it's like a cliff bump. The, cl the bump is at the top, near the top of the uh, downstroke. And then it just kind of you just fall off. Um, I would say they're actually slightly more tactile than a Gatoron Brown, honestly. You can definitely feel it and also has a similar type of marble and glass bottom out. So these are interesting. We got those are the legs that they use on this. Now, I know Kale has their own. 
Um, I think Gatoron has a couple. Like I said, the Otemu ones just use the same uh, position for the switches. So, and this one's got Red 2.0. So let's go ahead and open this up and, and jump into it. As always, with the newer Nufi boards, we get our own waifu. Um, I guess I've got two, cause I, or maybe they have the same waifus on them. I don't know. But, um, and they do have stickers inside the box as well. So I gotta say, I do like their packaging. So we have our user's guide, and we have some more waifu stickers as well as new fee. It's new, I thought it was all black. I don't remember the NU standing out. So, and it tells you the, the wireless device connection, I believe. They're, these are, this is just like the uh, Halo series. Here we have the contents of the Air 96. We have a nicely uh, nylon braided USB-A to USB-C cable. We have extra keys so we can change accent color as well as go to Windows because they're automatically loaded with the Mac. But I like to have they have the choice of different accent colors, so you can go with mixed, or you can go with just the teal green, or you can go with the orange. We also have, as they do on their other ones as well, they include. Some extra switches. Now this is the uh, yeah. okay. So this is the 2.4 gigahertz dongle, but it has. Does this go on the case? Oh, it also, I really appreciate when manufacturers include a dust cover for the keyboard. Um, a lot of people won't go out of their way to purchase a dust cover, but if they have one out of, off the bat, they're a lot more likely to use it and they won't need to clean their keyboard as often. All right, well, just taking a quick look, the only thing I can gather that this clips onto, it could be the folio that you can purchase with this keyboard, which is a nice little, um, it makes it a stand where you can put a tablet on there. So, oh, just throw it. So that, I believe, attaches to that. So I'm gonna go ahead and put it in extra keys for right now. So I'm gonna go ahead, and, not in Windows, but I am in, I guess technically Linux would be closer to Mac than it would be Windows. All right, so this is actually, oh yeah, we've got the uh, the switches that we'll be testing right here. This is the regular brown. Yeah, that tactility is, is uh, almost not there. I mean, but it is a brown, so. This one does have a slight amount of ping and it doesn't have that nice little tap of glass down at the bottom of it. Well, red doesn't seem to have any um, ping, but it does, uh, it is louder, it's clacky. I actually kind of like the blue. I mean, it's clicky, but not not obnoxiously so it's actually kind of nice <laughs> and here we have the air 96 now off the bat i can say that i mean the design i i like it i really like it. it's clean um everything seems to fit nicely i do love the status lights on the side i, I gotta say i love their profile either um their colorway i forgot what it's called i want to say it's beach but i'm not sure if i'm right um, so I don't quote me on that. Now we have the obvious the 1800 layout, uh, which is basically the squished 96%. So just to give a bit of a comparison, here is the Halo 96, and we can see we're oh, basically almost exactly the same width, not a couple millimeters on it, but obviously this one is much bigger and much heftier. But this one has all the same features as that other one, except it comes in a nice low profile package. All right, so these are the reds. Doesn't sound too bad at all, actually. So let me take a look. Uh, off, wired, and wireless, Windows and Mac. All right, it's already set to Windows mode. This way. Got Windows, Mac, 
we've got off wired and wireless and we've got our USB-C port here and then we have the, the cover for the badge down at the bottom now we have a frosted I'm gonna guess ABS bottom you can actually see the backs of the um, of the standoffs there hmm. so I'm honestly I'm surprised how well it does sound stock but that's open space in there I wonder how much because I will be coming back to this keyboard and modding a low profile is one that I've been wanting to do for a while my K3 tr truly just doesn't have any space not even for like a sheet of paper well maybe a sheet of paper but um, this one looks like it might actually give me a little bit of space and I could probably do a silicone pour and even a tape on the feet are pretty good they stand up feet are pretty good they don't fold over well, the weight is actually nice it doesn't feel too light but it doesn't feel too heavy at the same time it feels right sometimes you grab a keyboard and you expect it to be heavier or you expect it to be lighter and it uh, surprises you this one feels the right weight for the size if that makes any sense so all right let's go ahead and plug this in see what we got when it comes to light the effects are bound to the um, right and left keys which i think are pretty cool and then the uh, this is for color switching, but I guess I gotta be on a particular effect. Yeah, there we go. And I can change the colors individually. Then we can also do this is the brightness and this is the speed. And for side light settings, we have function. You got to hold the function and the uh, question mark. And you can scroll through the effects. And pick a color. Let's go with red. All right, we're with red there. All right. I had forgotten. I, I forgot how simple this was um, for the light controls. I guess this one's breathing because it's probably charging. I'm, I'm gonna have to read through that real quick. But. All right, I've gotta say this is a nice typing experience for what I have experienced from low profiles. This is nice. Um, call this NSA profile it's a pretty flat profile but giving given the angle and actually that the bevel that it has around or bezel I guess you should say bevel, bevel, that it has around each keycap makes it very easy for your fingers to kind of feel where they're at and of course you got your home uh, keys that you can feel as well and we also have our home keys of five on the numpad, which comes in real handy. Um, the colors on this, the light effects. I mean, I can't say that I wasn't expecting a good keyboard because what I've gotten from the Halos. I mean, the first keyboard I bought from Newfie was the Test 68. Um, but obviously, that's the Tester 68. But these, these keyboards are... The Halo just... The Halo is a well-designed, well-executed keyboard. Yes, they had some delays and issues with the software. I know what I'm just talking about. The hardware-wise, it just it hits the sweet spot for me. It's hefty and heavy while not being extremely heavy. It's satisfying to type on. Uh, despite not being a gasket mount, it's a modified top mount. There's a lot of things I could say about it. Anyway, this keyboard is what I would expect from the same people that brought the Halo series because this is a a nice it's like I said it's lightweight but a little about that it gives which I mean you've got a uh, plastic bottom so it's gonna have a little bit of give but it's not that bad I had a Yunzi that you could literally almost like twist it um, like five degrees off and it just creaked it was oh so bad and it, it too it had the uh, translucent bottom and it really did 
did um, twist. So having this this aluminum frame, despite it feeling thin, makes makes the biggest difference in the world. Now, I, like I said, I will be coming back to this keyboard at some point in the future and doing some mods. I gotta do the Halos first. They're on my list. They're near the top of my list of keyboards I'm gonna modify first, although there really isn't much modification to do. I mean, I can, I'll be able to change the sound, but it's already a great sounding keyboard. Let's get technical. Today, we are taking a look at the Nufi Studios Air 96, a low profile, three mode, 1800 keyboard from Nufi Studios. It comes in weighing at 675 grams fully loaded. Its chin sits at 14 millimeters above the typing surface, while the back sits at 19 and a half millimeters above the typing surface, giving you a default typing angle of four degrees. Now this keyboard does manufacture retail for $119.95 on newfie.com, and it goes up from there depending on switches and keycap options you could choose. It comes preloaded with a 4,000 milliamp hour battery, as well as Twilight Double Shot NSA PBT keycaps. It gives you the choice of six different switches to choose from, including Gateron 2.0 low profile switches. The middle set of the feet for this keyboard will take you up to 26 and a half millimeters, changing your typing angle to seven degrees. And using the last and final set of feet, you will raise the back up to 32 millimeters and a typing angle of nine degrees. All right, so I wanted to take a quick look here at these keycaps. So we have double shot through the top, but not on the sides of the body. Now I know these are low profile, but what do we have as far as thickness goes? Oh, 1.4, 1.4 millimeters for. Wow, yeah, it's um, that's actually pretty good, and it's, it's only double shot at the top, so not bad, not bad at all. Now let's see what we've got here for the stabilizers. Where is my trusty tool? Taking a look at these stabilizers, they're definitely well lubricated. I would say overly lubricated, but they're well attached to the plate. They're not going anywhere and they move quite freely. Now let's pull one of these switches out. I'm not usually very good at pulling out switches from low profile keyboards. So, so I think you have to go in them sideways now. Huh. I did do it right. Cool. So yeah, it looks like you come at it from a different angle. Now, in here we do have Horon as well as an IPXE sheet. So you're getting the pop as well as the silence in there. So it's probably settling down some of that that rattle that might exist from the these uh, stock switches. There. All right, the sample switch is looped. There's no spring paint, but this switch, that is uh, definitely a bit pingy. So now I've got my curiosity peaked. Why don't we open it up and see if we can hopefully put it back together. <laughs> right, there's one side, uh, there's the other, all right. So here we can see. Everything's just been compressed down. The spring leaf is more of like a little just bar. And then, uh, which one's the striker? Hmm. But yeah, this is absolutely bone dry. So might need to leave the switches. I'm gonna go ahead and just add a little bit of grease on the outside perimeter of the switch. Not much. This is a tiny little switch. Basically, I'm just trying to get rid of the spring ping. Now, to figure out the right way for this to go. That's not it. 
flip it over. All right, that looks right. All right, so I think it's that little piece right there up front that's actually the uh, the actuation leg, if I'm not mistaken. It appears to be. All right. Oh, 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 come on. I had you. I'm not good with tiny little things. <laughs> Now they sound the same. The ping is gone. All right, so, I mean, not the funnest activity. I know for some, don't really enjoy it. But if you get these other switches, I think you'll be okay. You have these little latches out at the bottom that you have to make sure they're on. All right, I think we got to put that together. All right. It's not significant, but you can definitely hear a dip, slight difference. Now, granted, they're different sizes, so that's more anecdotal than anything else. So now they also did send this out, which they have released some uh, really nice wrist rest, and they sent me out this one. This one's a. Um, it looks like it's wood. It really does. So it could be beech wood because it does really feel like wood. Um, not a materials expert, but uh. this is one of many wrist rests that they've released, and I gotta say I'm, I'm really liking them. I've never really been big on using wrist rests, but. They kind of, they kind of got to me. <laughs> they got to me. I like them now. So this is the beach wood. And like I said, it feels like wood. If this is not wood, then it's a really good replication. All right, so for $119, you're getting a, a stylish design, solid design, a lot of features, um, extra key caps, some extra switches, um, and you can add a lot of stuff. I mean, the, I think the wrist rest where you're adding it when you buy it is only $19. They have other keycap sets. Um, Beach, I think, is another one. This one's Twilight. Uh, they also have, you know, other switches you can pick from. There's obviously things that you can add on. But for the price, in my opinion, this is a, a pretty good deal. Because it offers, I mean, a 4,000 milliamp hour battery is going to last a while, especially if you don't use your RGBs. Um, but it being so slim, kind of wish I had the folio now, uh, because this is definitely one that I would use as a road warrior, because it's not taking up that much room, but it's providing me basically a full-size keyboard, and that to me is money. Uh, I don't full size in here, but yeah, full size would stick out this much, and this this is nice because I'm not gonna be wanting or oh I gotta remap keys because I'm working in this instead of that I've got my numpad in case I need to do some data entry I've got what I need to get the job done and I mean at the end of the day isn't that what matters so what I'm gonna do is um, I'm gonna leave you guys with the stock sound test I'm gonna go ahead and over the next couple of days I'll load up the other switches and just do the sound test and link them in the original video so you can go and uh, check all of them and then when I when I have all of them filmed then I'll just do one sound test video with all four of them together so you can hear what it sounds like from switch to switch I'm really looking forward to how these wisteria sound but for right now I'll leave you leave you guys with a sock sound test of the Nufi Studios Air 96 96% three mode keyboard and um, again if I didn't make it clear at the beginning they, they sent this out to me in exchange for a review um, I've always been honest with them and they've always been grateful for me you know I, I'm honest I appreciate companies that aren't like oh, why did you say that or why did you do this like well because that's what I found <laughs> and they're like well we're not sending you anything else to review okay well why? I mean, do you disagree? Well, yeah, you shouldn't have said it. Like, uh, what? 
when they try to censor me, it's like, okay, well, I guess I won't be reviewing your keyboards anymore. It doesn't, it honestly doesn't bother me. I, it, I, to me, it just says, okay, great that this ended sooner rather than later. But anyway, beyond that, go ahead and leave you guys with the stock sound test of this Air 96. Um, I look forward to checking out the Air 75. Uh, but I do believe even this one's out of stock right now. Um, they they did tell me that they were selling like hotcakes. I see a lot of pictures on Reddit, especially of people sharing their Air 75 or their Air 96. Though the Air 75 seems to, well, I'm, I can't say it seems more popular. I've just seen more pictures of it, so that would be anecdotal. Anyway, like I said, I'm going to go ahead and leave you guys with the stock sound test with the red 2.0 Gateron switches, low profile. And the Air 96 with its NSA double shot PBT profile keycap set. And I will be doing the other sound test videos and then combining them all together into one. Uh, as the days go by, I'll try to do at least one switch a day so it doesn't take too long. But I hope that you guys enjoy the sound test. And until the next transmission, keep calm and keyboard on.